Hello and welcome back to the course. In this class, we'll be dealing with the grid marking on site. All right. So as we had discussed in the previous class as well, the moment we see this drawing, there are so much information over here. Whereas uh, in the previous plan, that is the site plan, if you see, we don't have that much of information at hand. So what I want to do is to understand this particular drawing, just go back to the site plan and just have a look at this. So we have BC 30 cross 40 plan in which we are leaving 156 inches as our offset. So after that, let's come to the main plan at hand. So there are two things that we will issue on this site. Okay, one is this footing drawing. Basically, we are giving the excavation uh, markings of our uh, footings. And the second thing that we are giving is the column marking. So on this grid, so if I just zoom in a little bit, okay, so we have our grid here, right? So basically, we have got A1 grid. So in the A1 grid, the ending of the column, okay, what is the distance? That it's going to move so this is basically eight inch column that we have and in this eight inch column three inches gonna come over here and five inches gonna come over there so this particular drawing that is basically column marking is for marking the columns on site so do we start with column marking the answer is no what do we start with we basically start with our grid marking only okay first you have to mark mark the grids because all your footings and all your columns are marked on the site based on your grids so let me just open up the paint for a second over here so that we have a proper uh, understanding what is basically going to happen so in the step one what will you do let me just increase the size a little bit okay in step one what will you do we mark grids okay in step two what you will do let me just make it a step one mark grids then by using this grids what you will do in step two you will mark the footings okay mark the footings mark the footings using grids okay then in step 3 what will you do we will mark columns using the grids option okay so the very first thing that is supposed to do is you're supposed to mark the grids and to mark the grids you have to come to the this particular plan because if you see from our boundaries we can find this distance that we have mentioned over here okay what is the distance from the boundaries this is very important because that is by using this distance only will mark our very first grid all right so let me just zoom out a little now before we start marking the grids let me just do one thing over here so that we have a proper understanding of what is happening here so on this grid what do we have we have so many footings so, so we have got f1 footing we have got f2 footing and we have got f3 footing so if you just come over here to the schedule you can see we have three different type of footings at hand okay so let me just mark all these three footings in different colors so that we don't have uh, confusion all right so let me just mark this particular grid in green that is basically our f1 so if you want to zoom in just zoom in a little bit and just mark this grid also because this is our f1 grid sorry f1 footing and then we come down we have one more f1 footing over here let us mark this footing also as f1 again i'm going completely slow keeping the freshes in mind okay so if you know all this already you can just skip and go ahead to the main parts no problem okay so let me just zoom out a little bit and see if you have marked all the f1 grids so f1 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 and f1 okay so my idea of doing this is because so that we can have a better understanding of what is happening on site all right so we have got one two three four five f1 footings okay let's go to f4 f2 footings now so let me just change the color to say yellow okay let me just zoom in i'll mark my f2 footings from here to here just come out a little bit mark one more f2 footing and one more f2 footing here okay and this one is also our f2 footing all right then last what do we have we have our f3 footing let me just mark this in red something like this okay missed zoom out a little bit all right so first we'll mark our grids a b c d then by using those grids let me just zoom in what i'll do i'll mark my footings over here okay once the footings are marked then i'll mark my columns again for the columns you have to use the column marking sheet and you will see from grid a how much amount of offset is there to the end edge of the column okay so if you see here footing for this if you see a4 i have three inch offset for my c1 column over here okay we'll come to the columns later but first what i want you to understand is these are footings we have got almost one two three four five we have got five f1 footings we have got four f2 footings and we have got one f3 footing 
now let me take you to the sketchup and uh, let us uh, this is how you'll be basically right on sketchup so i'm going for the top view here in the top view what i'll do just go back again to the top view okay so in the top view what i'll do i'll just go ahead and i'll create an area for myself it will be 100 feet comma 100 feet all right so once i have created this 100 plus 100 let me just move it somewhere over here let me just zoom in over here okay so i have created what i have created a area of 100 by 100 for myself then i'll just go to the isometric view once more and i'll just get an offset of about 10 feet okay so this is basically what this is basically my entire area that i have okay let me just get some materials over here so that there is less confusion uh, let's take this okay for the soil purpose okay so this looks like a plot of line right so in this plot of line what am i supposed to do i am supposed to start marking my grids so that i can mark my footings and i can mark my columns so if you see here how will i start marking it i start marking it one feet nine inches first okay because that is the uh, distance from the edge of the boundary to the very first grid then i'll mark my grid a then i'll mark my grid b that is 12 feet distance then b to c four feet nine inch distance and then i'll mark c to d that is nine feet nine inches and then i'll come over here again as you can see one feet nine inch distance we have here so this is how i'm going to mark so what can i do on the land can i just randomly just go here take a random point here and then from this random point can i start marking my grids can i do that the answer is no that is not how it works all right so you have to come back over here i'm just taking the site marking first so if you see here there is a adjacent boundary wall okay so from this wall what i have done we have taken one feet six inches offset all right so if i just open up my uh, plan and i can show it to you so what we had done we are at this location okay we are at this location we have taken one feet six inches offset over here okay so this is what you're supposed to do whatever boundary you have from that boundary you're supposed to take that distance and mark your very first grid okay so if you just go further okay this is the other end this end of the this end of the uh, let me come over here okay this end of the project so if you see in india what basically we do is we basically have brick walls or what do we have we have got stone columns like this that marks the edge of the adjacent boundaries okay or it marks the end of the r boundaries all right so this exactly was there on our site so what did we do we took this as our reference and after using it as a reference we started marking our distances so how much am i supposed to leave my distance from this edge i am supposed to leave one feet nine inch of distance i left the one feet nine inch distance and i was able to mark grid a on the side okay so once you have start marking you can see and i'll discuss about this uh, in this class and the next class this is also very important so we'll just come over here and you can see how we have marked okay this is all our reference points what you're seeing over here right these are our reference points so on site what do you do we clean the site as much as possible like as you can see there's still some more uh, things left on the site here and there that is because that is not a big problem as i said in the previous class that it should be clean enough that we can mark our footing outline okay so this was clean enough for us to mark our footing outline so we let it be for, for the moment and you can see then we mark our footings on the side like this all right so okay so what did we do we marked our very first uh, grid over here okay this is the edge of the boundary from here we marked one feet nine inches to mark our grid a then we carried on for forward and we were able to mark different grids on the side like this as you can see this uh, this stone mark here right so we marked all these different grids okay once all of them were marked, then what do we do? We started marking our footings also. I have videos, I'll show you the videos also. So what I'm going to do here is, I'll come back to my sketchup over here. So for example, I'll first mark my 30 cross 40 here, then we'll start our work. Okay, so I'll just come over here, my boundary edge. Okay, this is my very first boundary edge. So what I'll do, I'll go from here, I'll mark 30 feet for myself. Okay, then from here, let me just take it once more. okay so from here it was 40 feet for myself so 40 feet over here okay so what basically have what's basically happening here is this is my plot area okay here we had a road okay in the back end we had a house 
here we had a vacant property and here we had a vacant property okay that is what i have shown you here also okay so this is one side uh, of the property okay one side of our property and the other side we had a stone column like this okay so let me just close this for now and come back to the sketchup all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to change the color for the mid portion just a second first i'll mark a rectangle from this edge to this edge and let me just change the color for this so we have cleaned our side and this is how our site will look on uh, for execution purposes okay so let me just mark the distance this is basically our 30 feet okay and let me just mark the distance this is our basically 40 feet so what will you do on site the very first thing that you will do on site is you start marking with the edges so if you just have to just come to this drawing and you can see the very first edges one feet nine inches distance so i'll come to my sketchup let me just minimize this a little bit over here okay let me just drag it down so that i can refer it easily and let me just come over here let me just come to the top view again let's span it like this okay so what i have to do i have to mark one feet nine inches first so on the side what i'll do is i'll mark one feet nine inches over here one feet nine inches enter once i have done that what will i do as you can see here i have marked my grid right so i'll i'll put a rebar in the ground okay i'll tie it up and i'll mention whatever grid mark it is over here or you can mention it over here also no problem whatsoever okay so the moment you take one feet nine inches offset you are supposed to pull a string like this and you're supposed to secure it over here to one edge all right and to make sure that it is straight you have to use this right angle triangle like this on the side okay so i'll come over here to the sketchup now so i have marked my first thing that is one feet nine inches thing all right so after marking one feet nine inches, what will i do i have to mark the next thing that is 12 feet right this is basically 12 feet so i'll just select this over here and i'll mark 12 feet over here okay just control set let me just try it once more mark 12 feet then we will mark uh, 4 feet 9 inches okay so we have marked 12 feet then we have marked 4 feet 9 inches then we have 9 feet 9 inches that we have to mark i'll come over here mark 9 feet 9 inches and last but not the least we have 1 9 1 feet 9 inches again over here so to make sure that we have marked everything correctly let me just open this and let me just select this and we have to measure them okay so this is 1 feet 9 inches just me zoom in you can see 1 feet 9 inches over here then this was 12 feet and we can see this is our 12 feet okay then this was our 4 feet 9 inches 4 feet 9 inches and this was our 9 feet 9 inches 9 feet 9 inches and last but not the least 1 feet 9 inches over here okay see this is very simple work all right there is nothing difficult about this there is nothing too much uh, you know uh, advanced thing that you need to understand this is basically marking in us in our survey lab we do we basically do all this okay marking of different type of um, you know dimensions on site okay this is what we basically do okay so this is what we have marked on the site how did and i can sh I have already shown it to you how it looks on the site right so if i just take it to a, a video of central line marking to understand better so if you see what have we done we have left one feet 10 inches from here and we have made sure that this is a boundary edge we have secured the boundary edge then we have secured our very first marking also this is our grid a okay so if we open up this and see at one feet 9 inches what do we have we have our grid a so we have secured our grid a over here and you can see as i was saying we have vacant plots on one side at the back end we have a house and we have one more vacant plant uh, plot over here okay so this point that you are seeing this point is basically what on the side this 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 area f1 footing area okay so at the back end we have a house one vacant plot over one vacant plot over there they have just one room built over here okay there is nothing over there in that plot so you can see this is how grid one is marked grid a and it looks something like this and this is also what they have done they have left one feet nine inches over here and they have marked one more grid they have nailed one thing to this brick okay the, uh, if, I, if i can zoom in with the video i don't think we can so one nail is dug into this particular brick and from that nail they have pulled a string over here okay 
that is the very first video the second video you can see a lot more grids that were marked because uh, see this blue line that you are seeing this blue line is for what this is for our columns okay so if i take you back to the drawing you can see the kind of offset that is there okay so from this grid one i'll uh, take to you this one okay just let's zoom in a little bit this is our grid one right so from the grid one at three inch interval we have a edge of our column that is what is done on the side also if you see here it is so close right that is basically column marking is being carried out on this side okay so let me just move a little bit more further and we can see putting marking was already done okay and we have got so many different colors of uh, lines grid lines on the side okay so let me just close this for now i'll show you how the footing marking is done in a minute 